guys, back down here at Bora Bora with the Smarty Party crew and the man behind the brand himself, Trace Harris. How you going? I'm good, Mike. Here we are again on the beach, having fun. The <laughs> sun's come out, so it's, it's all good. Jade, tell us a bit about the history of how you got involved in doing parties at Bora Bora. Um, well, all my parties are off the back of me being a percussionist for, yep. min for ministry. Off the back of touring with ministry to about 30 countries, I was invited back as a percussionist because a lot of the places back then, 18 years ago, weren't really into the house music scene as such. They like quite like the drums. So I would go back, but I would go back as my own smarty party. So I sort of mirrored the ministry tours, if you like. So I did Privilege the very first time I came here. I loved it, but I didn't really enjoy it. It's too much sort of stress. And then I did Privilege again. Great for your kudos and your CV and the DJs, of course, yeah. love me to bits. And then we did Space Terrace for Alex P's birthday, and that was quite stressful. And then I thought, I'm not doing no more gigs out there. I want to go out there and have a party and just have fun. We came here seven years ago, something like that, and just for fun, Mike. And it was just lovely. And I was with 100 friends, 20 of those was DJs. And I asked Alex, who's a good friend of mine. I don't like asking people, but I, I was, you know, I was a bit happy. And, and I said, Alex, let me do something here. He went, whenever you want, Trace. And I was like, really, Alex? He said, yeah, of course you can. And that was amazing. So I'm with all my friends. We're here in June for the opening. He said, come and do it in September. So I went round to each of about four of the guys who I consider good friends and good DJs. And they was all buzzing, as we as you do. And I said, I bet you'd love to play here, wouldn't you? And I went, yeah, yeah, but it's all right. We're having fun. I said, well, you are. You're coming back in September, bring your records. And that, Mike, for me, that was the most, I don't get nothing out of it other than making them happy, and me, I suppose. And we came back in September and they all played. And since then, we've done it every year. here with Ramon, the resident DJ for Smarty Party. How are you going? Yeah, very well. Thanks, yourself? Yeah, very good, mate. Good, good to be back in Bora Bora, isn't yeah, it? Without a doubt. It's been, uh, we're here sort of a couple of months ago, and uh, it's like, a, it's like a, a drug, isn't it? You can't get enough of it. It's unbelievable. Listen, I've been doing this for about four or five years now. Um, I've been playing for Smarty Party for about seven to eight years. So, yeah, every year we uh, we come out at least once, if not twice, uh, do our little bit here, and then obviously enjoy the rest of the island as well. The most favourite thing for me is, is Cocoon at Amnesia on a Monday night. That is, for me, is, is the second best thing to, to do in this in itself. Now, how did you get involved with Smarty Party, Roman? Um, I've been playing for them for about, like I said, about seven to eight years. I mean, I was DJing locally, but it was not in London, and I wanted to get involved more in the, in the London scene. And unfortunately, in London, there are a lot of people that just base it all on how many tickets can you bring and this, that, and the other. But, but Trace Sinclair at Smarty Party gave me an opportunity to come down and play for them. And because I, I specialised more in sort of funky house at the time, they allowed me to play in one of the smaller rooms and then sort of develop with them and and grow up with them as it were. And you started off playing Funky House back then, I mean what's what's the progression been like over the last seven, eight years? It's been a been a whirlwind really, I mean you know Funky House is where it kind of stemmed from sort of the garage scene as it were and then from there it went into that sort of electro thing. <laughs> Thankfully it died off and you know I've <laughs> kind of grown up into sort of, sort of like a real nice sort of mellow techie, sort of minimal techie house. Uh, vibe now if you like. That's what we can expect to hear from you today? Yeah, without a doubt. It's going to be sort of nice, mellow, techy house and then obviously maybe with a, a couple of uh, slightly more thumping anthems in there as well. It depends what the crowd's like really, so yeah. Always got to pay to the crowd, right? Without a doubt, you know, you can't play for yourself because it will go horribly wrong. <laughs> What's your favourite thing about playing with the brand? Well, it's got to be the promoters. I mean, Trace and Claire, I mean, you know, without wanting to blow, you know, too much smoke up their chimneys, you know, they, they are phenomenal people, and, you know, and it works both ways. You know, they'll give you a chance if you show them respect, and that's kind of how it works for them. And, you know, they've been very kind to me over the years, and they've looked after me, and, and hopefully I've done the same for them with, obviously, with my music and my ability, so, yeah. Back down here on Bora Bora Beach, for the famous September Smarty Party. And I'm here with Matty Wells, long-standing resident for Smarty Party. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. I'm good, I'm uh, raring to go. To now, Matty, tell us, first of all, how did you get involved with Smarty Party? Because you are now the longest-standing resident with them. Well, one of my friends had a gig in London at the EC1 Club, and uh, I think it was 95, something like that, maybe maybe six. And um, I was DJing down there, Trace Harris, promoter of Smarty Party. Yeah. He'd come along and done the drums at the time, and he said, come and play at one of my gigs, and you know, Carried on from there. A good few years later, I'm still, I'm still here. Okay, good few years. How many exactly? Uh, I think 13 years I've been with Trace, all in all. Yeah. So, yeah. I've been coming here since 1990, 
as to come here as a punter, not not to work here is probably the best thing to do. You know what I mean? You just relax, no no worries, ain't got to worry about. Just enjoy the island, really. As soon as you land on that plane, it's just you know, <laughs> atmosphere is amazing. <laughs> I'm here with Bora Bora's resident DJ, Alex Miles. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. It's a big day here today. We've got the Smarty Party happening and you're the man that puts all that together. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I play for Trace at Smarty Party in London and uh, I've known him for so long that it just, it's one of those natural relationships that's just like, you know, why not have them out here on the beach? What's your favourite thing about Bora Bora? What's your favourite thing about Bora Bora? Uh, the atmosphere is just electric and everyone here is having such a great time. Alright guys, so we're still here at Bora Bora with uh, Alex, who is the fish man. How are you, man? Good, thank you. Crazy Islands. Crazy it's the island. island of the pirates. It is, isn't the it? The soul. Pirates. The soul is here of the pirates. Have you had a good summer here at Bora Bora? Yeah, Boracho, Boracho means drunk, drunk. Boracho, Boracho. Cool. I worried at first when I heard about all the amazing places opening because Bora Bora, let's be honest, it's been here forever. Yeah. But they've upped their game a lot. Exactly. Good sound system, it's a vocal point where the DJ is now. Before they used to be tucked away with the burgers. <laughs> and, yeah. it, and it's just lovely now and they've upped their game and it's still, it's still the king. There'll be hundreds of cool things starting up every 10 minutes. There is yeah. all down this beach, but Bora Bora is still uh, love or hate it, you can't ignore it. And I love doing this for fun. Yeah. 